Hey, what is going on everyone? This video, we're doing another giveaway, this time for WinX HD Video Converter Pro. Basically, what this program does is allow you to convert video files from one file format to another. It's very straightforward, very easy to use, and very effective. Now, basically, the giveaway is not a contest. There's no entries. You just simply download it and use it. But availability to the full version is only available to the end of June of 2014. So be sure to check out the download page, which is right behind me. You can find a link to this page in the video description. Just expand the video description and you'll find a link. Click it, and then here on this page where you're going to click is free version. And uh, what you're doing with the free download is a pop-up will come up with an activation key. This will give you all functions available in the full version, except for updating the software. So if there's a software update in the future, you just can't update. But currently what's available, you'll get all functions available to you. So with that said, Let's get straight into the review. Okay, so what you see before you is basically the primary interface. And as you'll notice, it's very minimalistic, which is actually a good thing. It makes it very easy to use. So starting with the top left here, you can add a video, which is actually the same as this giant blue icon here. Uh, this basically allows you to search your video files on your computer. YouTube URL is the same as this white link down here. And if you click it, what it basically allows you to do is to um, get a, a YouTube video and download it to your hard drive. It does work, and in fact, I was able to download a 4K video from YouTube onto my hard drive. Now, for this function, uh, please be respectful of the author's content. Don't download something illegally. Um, this includes my YouTube channel. <laughs> I am, you know, I work hard on these videos. So if you're going to download something, make sure the user, or the author rather, gives permission for you to do so. But yes, the function works fantastic. Of course, you have photos uh, which you can convert. Um, nothing really special there. You can clear out what's in this window, which I'll show you quickly. Options is basically your output folder and whatnot, language. Again, nothing special here. Checking for updates will check for an update, which you can't do with this version because I said there's no updates available. Uh, these icons here basically help uh, contacting the company WinX and Digitary for help. Okay, so I have this um, movie from my DVD collection. So, you know, try not to use this program for any legal purposes, but it's basically has, um, I ripped it for demonstration purposes, but it has external subtitles. Um, as you can see, if I simply turn them off, they turn off. Now you can hard code subs. What I've done here is I've added the video file. And if I were to go to edit, and in this spot, you can uh, adjust the volume. You can add subtitles. You can crop the video. So basically you can shrink the video size, actually cropping it. Uh, and its resolution, for example. You can trim, so you can actually cut off a portion of the front or the end, so I could take off, say it's two hours, nine minutes, I can cut off the at the hour mark. But going back to subtitles, what I can actually do is enable subtitle, go to extra, add, and here I'll basically browse for the subtitle file, and click apply to all. Now when you play back the preview in this window, you won't see the subtitles pop up, it won't work. But after you hit the conversion button, which is right here, run, the subtitles will be hard-coded into the video. It works. I can confirm this. I find this to be extremely neat, uh, especially if, a, if you have a foreign film in your DVD or collection or whatnot. Now over here you have high-quality engine. This of course will make the conversion process slower, but it increases the quality of the video after you play it back after it's been converted. Safe mode is just basically a safety mode type of thing where it's less likely to crash. I don't really turn it on. Merge output video is basically if you have multiple video clips here, you can actually merge them into one long extended clip. Deinterlacing basically means you would get rid of, uh, try to get rid of interlaced footage or actually make it non-interlaced rather is better to say. Uh, this footage is for stuff like say 1080i, not 1080p, but 1080i will turn into 1080p if you wish to choose it. And of course the amount of cores you want to use for this program. Uh, the more cores you use, the faster the program will run. And of course, if you press play and you click here, you can actually take a screenshot of what's being played on the actual preview window. What I'm going to do now is just clear this out. And if I try to click DVD, it doesn't do anything. Um, I, I think that ripping DVDs is an additional option. You have to pay for the actual full version, um, which also includes allowing for updates. There's actually theoretically a way to get around this. You can actually rip DVDs with this uh, program. If you click the add video button here or here, and we'll go to my DVD drive, and I open up the directory of my DVD, here I have the 
full files and videos within the DVD. Theoretically, I actually tested this. I've actually dragged and dropped this first file here, converted it to an MP4, and it plays back just fine. So technically, you can rip DVDs from this program, even though this button doesn't enable it. But let me actually show you what happens when you try to add a video. So right now, in my window, I have nothing. I'm going to add something from my DVD. Click open. Again, this is a DVD of uh, from a function of my family, so I'm allowed to do this. I'm allowed to rip it. As you can see, you have some generic options. Um, recently profile, PC general video. These are recommendations if you're not sure what to do. In case, let's say you want to convert it to an Android device or Apple device, you're not sure what to do, what file format to put it in, the program will try to recommend the presets for you, this function right here. As you'll notice, this is something brand new. And what you can do is customize basically the bit rate and codex information here. If you click on that, we'll bring you back to this window, which you've seen already and discussed. Codex is here. Some file formats from this window will allow for more codec options here. Frame rate you can adjust like 22 frames per second, 24 frames per second. Resolution is basically the output here you have up to HD or you can just keep the original. It'll just copy exactly what the original file format's like. Of course you can adjust the audio options. Always try to keep it at a minimum of 192. That's a bit higher in uh, bitrate quality. The only thing I have a problem with in this program is of course the bitrate of the actual video. See if you click CBR which I believe is consistent bitrate you can actually use one of the defaults or just type in your own number so 2200 okay no problem but so you can do that with consistent bitrate but with uh, variable bitrate you can't select anything I do wish there was an ability to add a target bitrate and maybe the peak level bitrate when using a variable bitrate it would have been nice if they had this option available this allows for much more quality being retained if you're very specific and know exactly what you're doing with your video conversion not a big deal because keeping everything at its origin does a fairly good job, but I just would have liked a bit more manual control. Of course, customize will allow you to customize the resolution exactly how you wish. Now, in terms of file format conversion, I have converted some of the most popular. So I've actually ripped the DVD, I have converted MKV, I have converted AVI, DivX, Codex, uh, I've converted MP4 to MP4 just for the sake of testing. So anything I could throw at this program, it runs fine, and I have never experienced a crash. Now to give this program a rating, I'll give it an 8 out of a 10, and here's why. It does everything I would need it to. Uh, any file format I can throw at it, it works great. The interface is extremely simple. Anyone can use it. There's not much of a learning curve needed here. Uh, the only problem I really had with this program was, of course, not being able to adjust the variable bitrate. That's me being picky and a bit more particular because I know exactly what I'm doing. For the common user, they will never touch this. They'll, they won't even know what this means. So I'm just being a bit picky here, but you know, that's just me. Overall, the program is very simple to use. It's fast. So with that said, be sure to check out the link in the video description to download the program. Again, it closes by June 30th for the full access code 2014. If you go past June 30th of 2014, you'll have to buy the full version, but it's definitely a great program and worth checking out. So if you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my Facebook, Google+, Twitter links also in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.